guys, happy Cricut Monday. What I thought I would do this week is just kind of go back to basics for just a little bit. Not that we've ever really left. I mean, last week's was just a little more in depth, but I think we need to go back and, and look at some of the basics a little bit better. Um, when I did my um, design space, like how to maneuver through it and all the uh, things that you could do in it, it just had so much in it and I wasn't filming internally on my screen then. So I want to make sure that I go back over each one of those steps and make sure that everybody is right along and we're just moving along. So what I thought I would do, like I said, this week is just do how to use the slice tool. So I already have um, design space here on my screen. So what we're going to do to start a new project is go right here to the circle with the plus sign and click on that. And that will take us to our canvas, okay? And so what I want to do is go to images over here on the left because I found some that I want to use for this. And then up here in the right, you'll see you can search images and to the right it says filter. So we're gonna click on filter and I'm going to look at my uploaded images. Okay, and this will be all the images that I've uploaded. So I'm going to pick this St. Patrick's Day hat and this little dog wearing a hat and this um, little four-leaf clover, okay? Now we're going to insert the images. And it will automatically just put them right in here. My internet's a little slow today. Um, I'm not sure why, but it is. Okay, I think that dog is so cute. So we're going to make him a little bit smaller. Since St. Patrick's Day was coming up, I thought, well, that's what we'll do. It'll be cute. And this is so pretty. It looks like it's actually made of grass. I loved it. And that hat's really pretty, too. Okay, this just has some dimension to it. So to be able to slice, it's really simple, and I'll show you what all you can do with it, okay? So I think I'm going to start with this um, hat first, okay? So you have it selected, okay? And then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to Shapes and click on it, okay? And say I wanted to slice a heart out, okay? Now I'm going to have to make it really small. To use slice, you have to have two items selected, okay? So say I just want to say I love St. Patrick's Day, okay? So I've made my heart smaller and I've put it right in here. Now you can see this is all a black area. I'm going to go up here to the top where this black square is. This is where you change the color of whatever you've clicked on. So I'm going to click on that and I want to make it gold, okay? So there that's gold, all right? Now say, I, it really doesn't matter. I, I just wanted to show you the color that I'm going to put behind that, but we'll leave this gold for right now. Okay, so to slice, you have to select two images, okay? So we have our heart and we have the hat. Then if you'll go down here and look, slice is in the right bottom corner, okay? And it's kind of like you're cutting something out. It's like a template, okay? So I'm going to click on slice, okay? Now if you will see, I have made you can use this another little green heart for something, or I have this now. So I can go back over here to shapes if I wanted, and I could make, say, a circle, and I could turn it back into that same gold, make it a little bit smaller, and then to get it, by, you'll see it automatically just goes to the top. All you have. Okay, all you have to do is click on this because I want this on the front of this. Okay, so all we have to do is hit Arrange, Send to the Front. Okay, so now there that is. And then you can select both of these like this and you can, except I don't want this in it. 
you can select these and then you go up to the right hand corner and hit group and now they move independently okay so that's something that you could do if you wanted to print something out make a sticker or um, just make something with vinyl you could do it that way okay and then we have these okay and you could always make this one smaller or make this one bigger and then move this one arrange send to the front and then make him a little smaller too I mean you can do a lot with slice okay so I'm gonna get rid of this for now okay so what we're going to do is work on the dog next okay so say I don't want this background say I want to turn him into a sticker I just go over here to shapes I find me a circle okay and then I'm going to make that circle big enough to cover my puppy okay and then all I'm going to do is select both of these and then slice is down here at the right bottom corner if it's not available for some reason then you're you can't slice what you have like you don't have two of something or something like that I don't understand it that well enough but I can tell you you have to have two to slice it so then we're gonna hit slice okay then you're gonna see <laughs> we can get rid of this and that here's our little puppy I didn't quite make it uh, round enough but we'll go ahead and delete that but there he is okay say his name is lucky okay so we are going to get a text and we're going to go to a perfect day and we're going to type in lucky okay because that's his name all right so now to get this to where we can move it together so it looks like it's written okay then what we want to do is go up here to the right and ungroup and then we can just move these letters over so they look like they've been written in cursive now you can probably see right here I don't know that that K just needed to come over a little bit okay all right then you want to select that and we're going to group it together so now we can move it independently okay so we want to make lucky a name tag okay so what we are going to do is we're going to go to shapes and um, I might make it like a heart for lucky okay so we'll move our heart here and we're gonna but first I've got to get this down enough so lucky can wear that that would wear lucky <laughs> okay but so that you can see it I'll leave it kind of big because if I got it any smaller I think it would be hard okay so we're gonna make lucky's name tag and don't do what I just did <laughs> you didn't you all you have to do is hit undo if you do it okay all right so we're going to take this hit arrange send to the front and i'm going to change the writing on this lucky so you can see it so it's highlighted you go up here to the black and we're just going to hit gold again okay and so there is lucky's little name tag and we're going to make his heart green because you're never going to be able to see it otherwise okay so there's lucky and I gotta make his name a little smaller you just kinda gotta play with it alright so now what we're going to do is we're going to attach it and then lucky has his very own <laughs> this is too funny oh his very own little thing and we're going to attach this all together so now lucky has his little 
um, name tag that says lucky. I think that's cute. All right, so say we have this one, okay? And you could turn this into a sticker. And like I said, I didn't get my circle completely round. So you want to make sure that you would get it completely round. All right. So with this one, um, say you want to get a shape. And say we want... Hmm, they're going to do a square. Okay. And we'll move our square down here and we'll make it really, really big. We'll move Lucky over here. Move this over here, okay? And we'll just change this to gold so you can see, okay? So, say I want to cut this out, this shamrock or, or clover out on this, okay? So when you do it, it's going to go behind. So you want to hit arrange, send to the front. Now it will be on the front, okay? So say you want to make several of these on this sheet of paper, okay? So remember, you can only do two at a time. So we're going to select this and we're going to slice it, okay? And now we have that little template. Okay, or you can just shrink this and hit arrange, send to the front, and you can put it over here on the top of this. So it's just basically cutting what you want, and if you want to make another one, you can move it right here. Then select that and hit slice and once again we have sliced another one so it's really simple I mean it it I hope I'm not making it complicated it's so easy all you have to do is just think of it like a template and if you want to cut something out or anything like that. But I hope this was useful. I hope you have a better understanding of what Slice does. It just is like a template that you can do to put anything, like cut a hole through something, basically slice it and then make it what you wanted. Like you could put, like if I wanted to put a different color back in here, all I'd have to do is go to Shapes, circle, no, shapes, square, okay, and then move my square here, get it really big, okay, then hit arrange, Send to the back, okay, there's that. But say you don't want this to be black. Okay, so you're going to click on this. Then you'll click on the black, and you want to turn it green. So now it's green, and then you can move this on the front. So basically, that's a lot of what you can do with Slice. So like I said, I hope I didn't make this confusing. I hope it's clearer for you if you were having trouble with Slice. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.